How does that make you feel? I don't know. You don't know? Do you miss her? No, not really. My dad made me see a shrink because he thought I needed to process my feelings about my mother leaving. The thing is, I didn't have any feelings. Dr. Thaler reminds me of an actress playing a therapist. And when we have a session, I feel like an actress playing myself. I, I actually, I have been having kind of weird dreams lately. A bad actress doing a shitty job. Like I'm, um, I'm driving through this gnarly snowstorm and I can't see anything. I mean, there's snow everywhere. And then out of nowhere, this figure appears. I can't like make it out in any detail or anything, but I just somehow know that it's my mother. And I try to swerve, but I can feel the car hit something. I get out and I look all around, but there's no body, nothing. Just snow and blinding whiteness everywhere. I don't, I've been having these dreams ever since my mom left. That's not unusual, especially given the trauma of your situation. However, contrary to popular belief, dreams don't necessarily mean anything. And we all have strange dreams. But in most cases, it's just your brain's way of letting off steam at the end of the day. Yeah. I'm worried about you, Kat. If your mother was so unhappy, why do you think she married your father in the first place? God, I have no idea. <laughs> because he was there? I mean, he wanted to marry her. She had no other choice, maybe? I mean, she went to college and she was working as a receptionist, but what else was she gonna do? I guess life with my father must have been pretty bleak and miserable for her. In the weeks before she left, I noticed that she started dressing different. What do you mean, different? Like, her clothes got tighter, sexier, and she even bought a mini skirt. <laughs> then there was that night that she walked in on me and Phil. The weirdest part was that she had on this nightgown that was practically see-through. It was almost like she was putting on a show. Could it be that's what she was doing? What, what putting on a show? <laughs> for me or for Phil? No. I think she was just bored and getting older and trying to get whatever attention she could. It was almost like she wanted to have an affair or something. Do you think that's what was going on? No, I mean, I can't imagine it, but I guess anything's possible, right? What kind of mother would do something like that? My mother? What? What? That's just how she was. I mean, everyone has a crappy childhood. It's not like she beat me. So my mom wasn't Hallmark card perfect, so fucking what? I just think she was lonely. I used to catch her staring at me like I was wearing something that I had stolen from her. And you think you've changed? Oh yeah, I'd say so. I mean, I definitely feel more comfortable in my own skin. And you think you've changed? Oh yeah, I'd say so. I mean, I definitely feel more comfortable in my own skin. School's going well? Mm-hmm. And I assume you haven't heard from your mother. Nope, not a word. How are you feeling about that? It's been over two years. <sighs> I, I don't know, it's, it's kind of gotten to the point where I just don't even expect to hear from her anymore. Like I've just come to this weird sort of acceptance of it. I guess I've just moved on. I mean, even my dad has himself a new girlfriend. Does that bother you at all? Mm -mm. Why should it? My mother's gone. She's never coming back. You have the flu? I'm just getting over it. I think it's a going away present from this place. When are you heading back up north? The day after tomorrow. To be honest, I'm kind of relieved. 
I guess it's true what they say. You can't really go home again. Why do you think that? I don't know. I mean, look, on one hand, it's been, like, really nice to see all my old friends and all the old familiar places, but I don't know. I mean, I just feel so different, you know? It's like I'm looking at everything from the point of view of an outsider. Like, okay, last week I saw Phil, and I realized that He's just gonna be stuck working some shit job until he's old and fat and dead. He's never gonna escape this place. How are things between the two of you? <laughs> Our relationship has dwindled to practically nothing. It's weird, it's like he's been avoiding me the entire time I've been home. Why do you think he might be doing that? <laughs> you got me. What? Why do you think Phil is avoiding me? What? What aren't you saying? Why are you just sitting there with that smug look on your face? Why does everyone around me do that? Look, whatever it is that you're thinking, you can tell me. I mean, do you think that, like, Phil is hiding something? Is that what it is? Please, just say it! I'm an adult and I can fucking handle it! Okay. I'm afraid our time is up for today. Oh, great. <laughs> I want you to think about what we've talked about. Not just today, but all the time that we've spent here. I'm confident that you can find all the answers that you're searching for.